American Abrams tanks getting smashed in Ukraine is making headlines. A total of four have been lost till now. Viewers may note that the Abrams are operated by the 47th Mechanized Brigade in the Ukrainian Army. The brigade sprang into action north of Avdivka, the focal point of Russia's winter offensive, in the late autumn. Shortly thereafter, the M1s arrived, taking the place of the brigade's remaining Leopard 2A6s. The 47th lost its first M1 on or before February 26th. The other losses followed this relatively quickly. It seems that three have been knocked out by Cornet anti-tank missile, and one other was most likely hit by an Uper first-person view drone that struck the tank's ammunition compartment through an open blast door and sparked a fire that destroyed it. Cornets have tandem warheads. The first charge takes out the armor, while the second explodes inside the tank. The Uper FPV can carry RPG-7 mortar grenades, such as the PG-7VL and the RKG-3M, as well as anti-tank hand grenades, and this seems to be a lucky hit. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why American Abrams MBTs are getting knocked out in Ukraine. Let's check the six reasons one by one. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Ukraine's Western-made tanks, Challenger 2s, Leopard 2s, and M1 Abrams are high-priority targets for Russian forces. They're a type of trophy kills. Western tanks are targeted not only for their tactical value, but also because each successful strike serves as powerful propaganda material. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov had stated about Western weapons, they too will burn. So the threat is much higher for any Western tank, especially Abrams, since the U.S. is the main backer of Ukraine. Ukraine got the older variant of Abrams. Pentagon Press Secretary Pat Ryder had said that the Pentagon made the decision to buy the M1A1 variant, which will enable us to significantly expedite delivery timelines and deliver this important capability to Ukraine by the fall of this year. The M1A2 version of the Abrams is significantly more potent and has better targeting, better communications, and better situational awareness. So Ukrainian forces are fighting with a less capable Abram. American Abram MBT's armor is a mix of depleted uranium, ceramic, and other materials laminated together. Every layer serves a distinct purpose, collectively dispersing the impact of incoming rounds across the armor. Depleted uranium is a byproduct of the process of enriching natural uranium to create nuclear fuel. It's considered less radioactive than naturally occurring uranium since it contains a lower amount of the fissionable material UT-35. In the United States, it falls under the purview of the U.S. Department of Energy and is subject to DOE regulations that bar its export. Uranium is an exceptionally dense metal. This characteristic makes it ideal for applications where having a large mass in a confined space is beneficial. The Ukrainian M1s, like all non-American M1s, feature tungsten instead of depleted uranium. Tungsten has a slightly greater density than depleted uranium but some reports suggest that depleted uranium functions better with other layers of the armor. While it's unclear if tungsten ones are more vulnerable or not, depleted uranium has been the preferred choice for the U.S. Army and Ukraine hasn't got it. The latest version of Abrams is equipped with Israeli Trophy Active Protection System 
APS. Trophy is designed to protect vehicles from ATGMs, RPGs, anti-tank rockets, and tank heat rounds. It uses a hard kill approach. A small number of explosively formed projectiles destroy incoming threats before they hit the vehicle. It is essentially designed to supplement the armor of light and heavily armored fighting vehicles. U.S. Army Colonel Glenn Dean, after evaluation drills in 2021, stated, I tried to kill the Abrams tank 48 times and failed. Trophy APS would have certainly helped with cornet hits. But Ukraine has not got the Abrams that has the system in place. Ukraine is running out of ammunition, and NATO members are not doing enough to help Kyiv, the alliance's secretary general, Jens Stoltenberg, has said in unusually blunt comments about the state of the war. Unprecedented aid from NATO allies has helped Ukraine survive as an independent nation, but Ukraine needs even more support, and they need it now, Stoltenberg told reporters at NATO headquarters in Brussels on the 14th of March, 2024. In a modern battlefield, an MBT needs to be supported by other elements in the battlefield. But Ukraine's resource constraint is affecting this. As per Oryx, a project that records independently verifiable losses throughout the conflict, Russia has lost 2,827 tanks in the conflict, of which 1,858 are destroyed, 150 are damaged, 282 are abandoned, and 537 are captured. This figure matches the number provided by Bastian Gigerich, Director General of the London-based International Institute for Strategic Studies, or IISS. He said, tank losses since the full-scale invasion began now likely top 3,000. To put that in perspective, Russia's battlefield tank losses are greater than the number it had when it launched its offensive in 2022. The loss includes 72 T-90M, which is one of Russia's most advanced tanks. The Earl Vagonzavod designed T-90M is an upgraded version of the T-90 tank, first introduced in the early 1990s as an offshoot of the T-72, featuring improvements in terms of protection, mobility, and firepower. It's not easy for any MBT to survive in a war zone infested with drones and anti-tank guided missiles. Abrams is no exception. Crew survivability and combat effectiveness will certainly be better, but Abrams is not invincible. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.